In 2025, turning window shoppers into paying customers is the name of the game. And the best Playfield browser abandonment flow is your secret weapon for making that happen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a browser abandonment flow that brings back visitors that have been on your product page but didn't add it to their cart. With this exact strategy, I've helped e-commerce brands increase product page conversions by 35%, recover thousands in lost revenue from hazarded buyers, and build a stronger connection with customers who are just one step away from purchasing. By the end, you'll know exactly how to set up this high converting flow to re-engage those browsers and to turn them into loyal customers for your brand in 2025. So let's first talk about the importance of the browse abandonment flow. First thing is that you want to recover lost revenue by building trust with your customers. So did you know that 98% of your first time visitors leave your website without buying? So that's a ton of potential revenue that's leaving the door. So a browse abandonment flow is designed to bring back those people. And we do that by building trust. So we want to send them a sequence of emails it reminds them of the product that they've looked at. So we're keeping the door open for basically a second chance. And even if just a small percentage of those people will come back and buy from your brand, it will have a massive impact on your bottom line. The second reason why the browse abandonment flow is so important is because personalized emails convert way better than non-personalized emails. So generic emails don't cut it anymore. Emails that include personalized recommendations based on what someone was browsing convert 2.5x better than non-personalized emails. So the browser abandonment flow leveraged their behavior, showing them the exact item that they were looking at. So that's why this flow is not just a simple reminder, but shows them exactly what they've been looking at. So it feels tailor-made for them. And because this email feels way more personal, people are way more likely to actually buy from your store. And the third reason why the the browser abandonment flow is so important is because you want to make sure that your brand stays top of mind because even if a person doesn't buy straight away it's still important to keep your brand top of mind within the customer's mind and according to campaign monitor brand recall jumps by 82 percent when customers receive timely follow-ups so by showcasing your product and adding a little extra value things like social proof reviews or free shipping you're building that trust and you're staying top of mind. So when the customer is ready to buy, you'll be the first brand that they're thinking of, and not one of your competitors. So with that being said, let's dive into a high converting browse abandonment flow. So in case you don't know what it is, what is the browse abandonment flow? So a browse abandonment flow is the flow that you send to people who've been on your product page, but didn't add that to their cart. And we're basically sending them an automated sequence of emails to get them back to the store, back to the product they visited to make sure that they will add it to the cart and go to the next stage of the customer journey. So it will bring visitors back to the product that they viewed. It will tackle hesitations by showing them reviews and building trust. It will suggest complementary items to spark more interest and it will boost your revenue by turning browsers into buyers. So in short, it's your secret weapon for turning window shoppers into loyal customers for your brand. If you're not using this flow, you're missing out on the easy wins. So how to structure your browse abandonment flow? So this is the structure that we like to use for our clients at our agency. So the flow trigger is a viewed product and we have a few flow filters in place to make sure that people won't receive this flow if they are within those filters. So placed order zero times installing this flow, Checkout started zero times since starting this flow. Added to cart zero times since starting this flow and has not been in the flow in the last 30 days. So if someone is adding a product to the cart, a start the checkout or have placed an order, they won't receive this flow or the rest of the flow if they already received one of the first email. And we're also making sure that if someone has received this flow in the past 30 days, they won't receive this flow again. And then the structure of the flow. So we have email one, which is just a simple reminder. One day later, we send email two where we're gonna build trust with them. One day later, we're gonna build more trust with email three. Email four is gonna show a discount. And finally, we have email five, which is the final discount reminder. And now you might wonder, okay, but how can I make this flow inside Clavio? Let me show you. So we're one of our demo accounts. And what you can do in the left menu, you go to flows. And then in the top right corner, you hit create flow. And then you already see start with the essentials. And then you can already see like the default browser abandonment flow from Clavio. Uh, but what we'll do is make it from scratch. So we're going to hit build your own just to show you how you can build it from scratch. Let's call it browser abandonment flow demo. Hit create flow. First of all, we need to select a trigger. So that's viewed product. So that's over here. And then we're going to build the uh, profile filters at profile filter. So what someone has done has place order zero times since starting this flow and checkout started zero times since 
starting this flow and someone has done add it to cart zero times in starting this flow and has not been in this flow in the last 30 days now we hit save now you can see the profile filters over here hit save again and confirm the trigger selection so view product confirm and save because you can't edit it anymore afterwards and now we're gonna add a time delay over here and this can be for example one hour hit save and now you can add an email in here and now you can build out your complete flow based on the outline that I just showed you. So this is how you make the flow inside Klaviyo. Now let's dive into the specific outline and show you the exact emails that we would recommend. So first of all, email one. And this is going to be a simple reminder. So typically you want to send the first email anywhere between the 30 minutes to two hours after this person has viewed a product on your website. And the goal of this first email is to just send a simple reminder. So just send them the product that they viewed and that's it. We want to keep it light and conversational or we don't want to be too pushy. So what needs to be inside? So just a simple reminder, the Klaviyo dynamic product block that shows them the product that they viewed. And what's also recommended is to use the Klaviyo product feed. And this will show them four recommended products based on the product that they've already viewed. So this will spark some extra interest if they didn't like the product that they've already viewed. And here's an example of an email that you could set for one of our clients' spy spots. So a simple headline, still thinking about it, return to store now with a brand image. Short body copy where we remind them of the product. Here's the dynamic product block. A call to action with return to store now. And then a simple section, you might like these with the Klaviyo product feed. And then we end the email with the brand USPs and the footer area in here where we also have the product categories. But this is just a universal footer bar that we have for every single email. And then I also have some subject line and preview text ideas. And if you want to take a look at these, what you can do underneath this video, the first link, if you click on that, you can download this full guide of the browser development flow for free. So click on the link underneath this video and download this guide for free. Next up is email two. So with email two, want to build trust with your audience because they have viewed a product on your website, but they didn't add it to the cart. And one of the reasons is because they don't trust you enough. So we want to send this email one day after they've received email one. So with this email, we want to address their concerns. So we want to talk about risk reversals, things like free shipping, free returns, a money back guarantee, or sometimes even a free trial. And if you don't have strong risk reversals, what you can do with this email is show reviews. It's also a great way to build trust with your audience. So what needs to be inside email two? Your risk reversals and otherwise social proof. And of course, a dynamic product block showing in the product that they've viewed on your website. And here's an example of an email for smoke that we made. So feeling on the fence, we get it. And then we have some uh, highlights on risk reversals. So free UK delivery, no hassle return policy, top rated customer servers, and over 3,500 five-star reviews. So these are great ways to basically show people that you're a trustworthy company. Then we have a call to action button, continue buying, a dynamic product lock, and take another look. And then underneath that, we go a bit more in-depth on why this order is risk-free. So we talk about free UK delivery made in the UK and up to 80% cheaper than smoking. And then we end the email with another call to action button, keep browsing. And that's email two. So let's dive into email three. But before we dive into email three, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more valuable content on email marketing for e-commerce brands. So email three, what we're going to do with this email is build more trust. So email two, we have talked about risk reversals. Now in email three, we want to show them reviews because this is one of the most powerful forms of social proof. And what we want to do with those reviews is address common objections. Every brand has certain objections that people might have before buying. So make sure you have reviews that talk about these objections and that you can address those objections with those reviews. So people will actually recognize themselves in the reviews and then they see another person who've had the same objection but is now happy with their purchase. So what needs to be inside this email? Reviews that address pain points, more reviews and more reviews. And of course, the Klaviyo dynamic product blank that shows them the product that they've left behind. And of course, I got another email example for you. This is an email that we've made for one of our clients, Stirker. So we start the email with a strong uh, testimonial in the header, as you can see in here, with a call to action button, shop Stirker. Then we say, fuel your next challenge with the dynamic product block and a shop now button. And then we end the email with, in this case, two reviews, as you can see in here. So really simple. We just want to show them reviews. So now we've sent three emails without a discount. And if after three emails, it still didn't convert, what we can now do is dig give them a discount. This can be a percentage of a dollar amount of, or for example, free shipping. These are all different kinds of offers that you could split test for your own brand. But we need to give the customers the final notch for them to actually buy from your store. And of course, what we want to do is make this discount time sensitive. So put 
put on a deadline so people have a reason to actually buy right now. Other than that, the email is pretty simple. We just want to give them the discount and the discount code. We want to show them the product that they viewed and that's it. And optionally, you can show them some product recommendations with the Clavio product feed as an email one. So here's another example for one of our clients, Sealy. So a simple headline, 10% off just for you. Save 10% now. So a little body copy that talks about the discount or special code with a unique coupon code, as you can see in here. Then we have the dynamic product block and a play now button. So really simple and really effective. And then finally, we have email five. And this is going to be the final reminder and the last email of the sequence. In this email, I want to remind them of the discount code. We gave them one day early. And what you want to do is show them a lot of urgency. So I want to say code is only valid for the next 24 hours. And what I like to do is to make this email a plain text email from the founder. Because a plain text email makes it way more personal, especially if it comes from the founder. Plus a plain text email in general has a better deliverability than a designed email. So you have more chance that this email will actually land in the primary inbox, which will lead to a higher open rate, more eyes on the email, more conversions. So example could be, hi Frank, it's founder name here. Just a quick note to remind you that your exclusive 10% discount expires tonight at midnight. If you've been thinking about completing your order, now is the time to act. Don't miss out on the chance to save. Click here to redeem your 10% discount once the clock hits midnight the offer is gone thanks again for checking our brand name and i hope to see you back soon warmly founder name so this is a really simple example and of course for your brand you can make it more specific for your brand but this is just a generic email that you can already send out that will recover a lot of lost revenue and those are the best strategies to build the highest converting clavio browser betterment flow in 2025 but if you're serious about scaling your e-commerce brand with email marketing you don't want to miss out on my video where I share the five Clavio email marketing hacks you want to use in 2025. And these tricks made me over $300 million of revenue, all of our e-commerce brands. So click here to watch it. And if the video was helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe for the channel for more valuable content on email marketing for e-commerce brands. And make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one.